Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we're removing shadows from a model's skin. Alright, you know sometimes you might shoot um, and we have a lot of sun and then you have a lot of shadow under the model's neck or anywhere on the model's body and you want to get rid of it. It's a very easy process by using frequent separation and we're going to do that today. Alright, so this image that we have on our screen here, uh, let me go to the settings really quickly. Alright, good. So I was using the Sony a7 III for this photo shoot. My shutter speed was at 4000, I was shooting at 2.8 and I was, my ISO was at 100. Alright, so let me go over to the image very quickly and we're going to zoom it up and you're going to see where we have the shutter right here. A little bit under the eye and you see that she's squinting and we have some right under here as well. Alright, so we're going to come over to the frequent separation um, action and we're going to click the 16 bit and we're going to do the um, brushing at 6.4 for the radius all right so you're going to use the, the mixer brush the mixer brush is normally nested under um what's this under brushes so once you hold on on brushes use your mouse point and hold on on brushes you should see uh other options here for different brushes so you're going to select the mixer brush when you select the mixer brush you're going to ensure that this option is not selected right here this option will clear the brush so you just click that and it will just clear the brush automatically. You should see this, these check boxes right here. For the wetness, put it at 2%, everything else remains the same, and also ensure that this is unclicked, all right? We're gonna go down here, I'm gonna select the low frequency layer, and then with the mixer brush selected, we're going to start uh, mixing the image. The mixing basically get your image in one, like everything uh, will just come um, together. So that's what we're doing right now. We don't want to have one side of the image um, have, you know, like a rising and the other side um, it's lower. You know, we want to get everything in one or on one level basically. Alright, so that's what we're doing right now. When you're mixing, ensure that you mix in one particular area at a time. So over here, you know, we have a little dark area and then right here we have highlight. So I'm just lifting the, I'm using the pen, this pen right here. So you want to lift it up and go over to the other side. So you don't want to mix from the light area to the dark area because it will not look good at all. So let's look at the before and after for this so far. Before and after, everything becomes one. So we're going to come right under the eye and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to mix everything right now. So this is really a good tool to use. For example, if you're shooting a model and let's say they went out last night and you know, they, they got up very early for the photo shoot and they have bugs under the eyes. No need to worry, it's an easy one to fix by just using the mixer brush. So that's what we're doing right now. And the cool thing about the mixer brush is that it maintain the quality, they maintain the texture in the, in the model's skin. It does not blur out the skin or anything like that. So that's a good thing. So I'm just taking my time here and just trying to blend it out a little bit. All right there. All right, good. So let's look at before and after so far. Before and after, before and after. Uh, the mixer brush will flatten the skin. So uh, you have to do like dodge and burn into, you know, shape out the skin. I really need to research like how the mixer brush actually works because I mean, oh man, this tool is, is awesome. Alright, that looks good. So each time I'm resizing the brush, I'm using the bracket on the keyboard. You can use a left and right bracket and it will get it smaller or bigger. Alright, good. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and do some more brushing. All right, you, when you're brushing, sometimes when you're brushing, you might not see that it's doing anything. And if you wanna see if it's doing anything, you just go before and after, all right? All right, that looks good so far. All right, so the next step now is to get your clone stamp tool and you're gonna clean up the skin a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna come over here to the clone stamp and then with my clone stamp at 100% and ensure that it says sample, uh, the sample should say current layer, all right? So we're gonna go up to the high frequency layer 
and then I'm gonna get my brush a little bit smaller just small enough so I can paint over the pimples so I'm sampling a clean area by using the alt key on the keyboard right so once you press the arc the uh, alt key this is what will happen you see this target thing right here and it's basically telling you that this is a target right here that we're taking the sample from so you just click and then go over to the area that you'd like to uh, sample well clean so that's what I'm doing right now All right there that looks good all right, let's look at a before and after, no before and after. Good, so I'm gonna come over this side and do the same thing. Yeah, that looks good. Good, so I'm gonna come down under the eyes now where you have the box. And then we're just gonna sample right below where the box lines are. And just paint it. Right there. Let's look at the before and after for that. Before and after. Good. Come over this side. I'm going to do the same thing. So the line that creates the bag, I'm going to just remove it. Good. All right. So for the shadows, it's basically the same thing. You're going to use the clone stamp tool to remove the shadows. So we're going to zoom it up a little bit more. And we're just going to come right at the edge and we'll sample and then we're just going to take our time and just paint it. Just paint it. Because the good thing about this is that when you were using the mixer brush, it actually uh, faded the, the uh, shadow a little bit, which is good. So when it faded the shadow, you can just use the, um, the clone stamp tool to get rid of the, of the, um, the lines. And the lines will just bring everything to one basically you might have to use um, another technique to let it look you know realistic or more realistic but we're gonna do this first and then we can do the other technique all right so so far that's what it looks like let me just do a before and after we're gonna come under the chin and we're gonna do the same thing and get my brush a little bit smaller I'm gonna remove that pimple right there right there as well good uh, perfect right there good I'm gonna get my brush a little bit um, bigger by using the right bracket and then I'm just gonna go right outside the line just to get rid of the shadow see it voila it's gone perfect so that's that for the face so far let me just scroll up a little bit more i think i want to make a little adjustment here still on the clone stamp tool uh, maybe sample from right here all right good that looks good before and after again before and after perfect all right so we can add some more light under the chin or under the um well not under the chin but under the nose right here a little bit and how we're going to do that we're going to go over here to the color correction um what's this layer i mean you can use that layer to do just about anything you wish to do um do with it all right all right so what we're going to do we're going to get the brush tool i'm going to press b on the keyboard for the brush tool uh, just did something b all right and then we're going to bring down the flow to about um eight all right then we're going to sample. I'm going to hold on on the Alt to sample the skin. So I'm going to sample like right here. And then I'm going to press paint right there. So I'm going to get this a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to paint right here. And then I'm going to come over here again. I'm going to do Alt and sample right there. And just paint right here as well. So I'm trying to blend it out a little bit. I'm going to paint right here as well. Right here. Paint it a little bit. Good. So let's look at a before and after for that. So before and after. So uh, we're going to just lower the opacity a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down like right there. Right there should be good. All right. We could also do the same thing on here using the same um, color that we have from the top. And that's, that's good. Don't need to do anything more. That's it. So we're going to go back down to the low frequency layer right now. And we're going to do the same thing 
with the clone stamp tool. So I'm gonna go back to the high frequency layer right here and then I'm gonna press S on the keyboard for the clone stamp and we're gonna come right here and we're just gonna get rid of the line. Right around it. This is the earring. All right, we're gonna come and do the same thing over this side. So we're fading the shadows. Then we're gonna come here and sample and we're gonna do the same thing right here. Perfect, all right, good. So now that we've faded it out, what we're gonna do now is to do the same thing by painting. So I'm gonna create a new layer right here and then I'm gonna create, I'm gonna sample by holding on an alt and I'm gonna sample right. As a matter of fact, we're gonna deal with this one first. I'm gonna sample right here. And then I'm just gonna, oh wait, I should be on the brush. Sample right here, good. And then we're gonna paint. All right, so look, remember the flow should be very low because you don't want it to look fake. So you want to keep your flow low, all right. All right, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna create another one and then I'm gonna sample right here and do the same thing. Sample right here, same thing, sample. So I'm sampling right around because I want the skin to match. So I'm just sampling right around while I paint. So, I mean, guys, you have to take your time and do your edits. <laughs> um, I remember sometimes, you know, when I'm talking to some people on Instagram or wherever, and they're saying that they cannot be bothered with, you know, the editing for long hours. That is why you need to charge your clients the right amount of money so it worth your time editing, you understand? So you don't want to go cheap because, I mean, you have to do a lot of work at times. And there are a lot of times you will not know what the nature of the work is going to be um, for editing. So, I mean, you have to charge the right amount of money for your time and for editing. So you don't really necessarily have to complain about you not, you know, getting the right amount of money for the amount of editing that you have to do. All right, so let's look at the before and after so far. Before, after. All right, so I'm gonna try to do something a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm gonna use the patch tool. I'm gonna press P on the keyboard. Well, no, P is not gonna give me the patch tool. It would be J, so I'm gonna do J. Or you can just hold on on this right here and go down to J. All right, I'm just gonna select right here and I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit. So this is just, you know, trying to even out the skin. Just gonna pull it right here a little bit down. Down. That's good. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the image in the, um, on my website for you guys to download so you can just check the description. And remember guys, please, these images are not to be uploaded to social media. These images are only for you to practice. I don't want you guys to upload it and tag me. I don't want that. Please just use the images for practicing and that's it. All right. So I'm just using the patch tool now to, you know, blend out everything right now. All right, so that looks good so far. So we just have to just, you know, try to meet it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna use, go back. Well, I'm still on the, um, the high frequency layer. So I'm gonna get back my clone stamp tool and I'm going to sample right here and just try to paint out a little bit. What's happening? Alright, let's add a bit more. Alright, I'm gonna come back down to this one and I get my brush again and try to paint out this one right here.
All right. I really don't want this video to be too long. Um, let's come in some more. Paint a little bit more. So I'm basically painting all over the place right now because I want to match everything. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the high frequency layer again. Get my clone stamp tool I'm gonna try to work on right here. So I'm gonna It won't be perfect guys, so don't think that you have to be perfect, perfect, perfect. You just don't want the shadows to be too obvious, basically. Alright, so right now I'm, something is happening. I, I, I got too close to the, um, to the necklace. Not the necklace, the earring, so I'm going to undo that. I'm just gonna try to do it again. I'm just gonna lower my um, brush size and just go up and try to do it again. And try not to go too close to the earring. All right, this side. All right, so that one is not working. All right, so I mean, that's it basically. I don't need to do I don't necessarily need to go any more further, or any further, <laughs> but actually I think I need to. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to mix the rest of the image right now, quickly, so I can merge it and just do some more um, adjustments. So I'm going to go back to the mixer brush tool, and I'm just going to come here and do some more mixing, just to blend out the hand. Then I'm gonna come down to the model's thigh. Do the same thing, I'll do this foot. And we have a shadow right here, but I'm not gonna remove that. <laughs> I just want to show you guys how I actually remove shadows from uh, a model's skin. So you get the drift. It's basically the same process to get rid of this one. So I'm doing some more mixing on the shadows right there. All right, let's look at the before and after for that. Before and after. All right, so I'm gonna go up to the dodge and burn option. So I'm just gonna collapse that. I'm gonna go to dodge and burn. And then I'm gonna click on the brush. I'm gonna put the flow at 1% and I'm just gonna zoom the image in some more. And I'm going to just shape the image now. So I'm going to come right here and I'm just going to dodge right here. Dodge right there. Right here as well. Right there. I'm just going to dodge right there. All right. I'm going to zoom out the image. I'm just going to do some dodging on the hand. I keep on saying dodging, burning. Gonna burn right there. Right here as well. And it could burn right here as well. Alright, that looks good to me. Just gonna right there, right here. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to the dodge now. And dodge is basically the highlighting. So I'm just gonna highlight right there. I like to fire it a little bit under the eye, under the eye over here, under the chin. Just gonna dodge the hands. So th this right here is where the light was hitting, the sunlight. So just gonna dodge there. Gonna put some more dodging under the. Uh, neck to get rid of the shadows some more So a little tip when you're doing dodge and burning you have to um, all right, for example for the face like the cheek area You know you have to dodge right here Right here is normally highlighted here is normally highlighted the chin is normally highlighted as well So those are the places that you want to highlight you want to highlight right here 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 uh, here 
here and then did I say here yeah here and then sometimes you can highlight here as well but you dodge right here on the cheek and then on the hand you you actually basically highlight in the middle where the light would be hitting and to the sides you know to the sides you don't normally have um, light hitting to the side it all depends on where the how the model is posing so you want to highlight in the center and to the sides you want to just dot in the, the sides all right so now that i'm finished with the dodge and burn let's look at the before and after for that before so you see how the image looks flat after now we have some dimension all right so i'm going to merge everything right now so to merge everything is Control shift alt e to merge everything I'm going to create a, a duplicate layer and then I'm going to get my clone stamp tool again. I'm just going to try to do here a little bit. All right, that's too high. I'm going to bring my flow down to about 11 and just do some more. Do some more. Uh, blending all right for some reason all right that looks good all right so i'm going to i'm going to merge everything all right and then i'm going to bring up back the frequent separation again i'm going to go down to the low frequency layer and i'm going to go up to raid uh, filter blur well no not yet we're going to get the lasso tool first. I'm going to make a selection right here. I mean, there are more than one ways to do this. I mean, you don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing, but I'm just giving you examples of what you can actually do. So I'm just going to make a selection right here on the low frequency layer. Then I'm going to go to uh, filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And I'm going to try to flatten or just get everything in one. That looks good right there. All right, perfect, that looks perfect. So before, let me zoom it up so you guys can see. That's the before, that's the after. So that option can actually blend the skin as well. I'm gonna do it again, do it again. So basically I'm just using the last option that I've used, so it's Control F. So because I've done that before, I just Control F. It depends on what version of Photoshop you're using. If you're using the 2019, if, yeah, it's not going to be Control F. You have to come here to see what it's what it's going to be. I actually changed it back to Control F because I was using that in 2000 in CC. So, yeah. All right. So that looks good. Hmm. There's nothing else I need to do with this image. I'm going to color the image now. So I'm done with the getting rid of the shadows. I could get rid of this one as well, but you know what? Let me get rid of these um, veins from the model's leg. So I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna press J on the keyboard for the clones, for the um, patch tool. I'm just gonna get rid of these. I'm on the low frequency layer. I'm gonna go to the high frequency layer now and do the same thing. Good. Then I'm gonna come here, remove that. I'm gonna go to the low frequency layer and do the same thing again, just to ensure that everything is blended properly. Get rid of this one as well. That looks good. Could maybe try this. Just fade it out a little bit. Good. Get rid of the sun. Like sun in the other glass. So are the days of her life. Okay, good. So I am done. Hmm. So I'm going to color my image now. So I'm going to Control Alt E, Control Alt, Control Alt Shift E to create a new layer. Control J, then Control Shift A for camera raw. Let me press Auto and see what Auto looks like. Okay, Auto is too much. So I'm going to come over to the HSL option right here, and I'm going to play with my greens. I want to give it an earth tone. All right, that is good enough. I'm gonna come back here to the basic options and then I'm gonna play with my shadows, bring up my shadows a little bit. Then I'm gonna go down to dehaze, just to pump some color in the image. 
Then I'm going to come here to contrast a little bit. Then I'm going to go back over to the HSL option. I'm going to play with the skin tone a little bit. Good. Let's look at the before and after for that. Uh, this option is not working. All right, that's the before and after. But let's just bring it out here. Gonna put everything in a, um, so I'm hold on and shift. I'm gonna click the first one, hold on and shift and come down here and then control E to put in a group and then do a before and after. Before and after. I'm gonna add one more color, well, two more colors. I'm gonna come right here to where it says 5% of blue because I love to add blue to my images, to the shadows actually of my images. I'm gonna bring down the opacity a little bit. And then I'm gonna come here to the color lookup and I'm gonna add 20%. I could add 27, but I'm gonna add 20%. And then I'm done. I'm done. But I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove this from right here. So I'm gonna Control R, Shift E. And then I'm going to get my um, patch tool again. I'm gonna content aware, so it's alt backspace, no not alt backspace, it's gonna be shift backspace, enter. It's loading, it's loading, good, and it's gone, good. So now I'm gonna save this for Instagram. So I'm gonna come right here to file, I'm gonna go to export, save as our save for web. And then for the width, I'm gonna save the width at 1080. Then I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. And I'm done. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel yet. And turn on the notification bell so you can be notified once I upload a new uh, video. Thank you guys for the subscribe for the yeah thank you guys for subscribing <laughs> and all the support that you've been giving me on my Instagram and so forth and keep watching. Bye bye.